ya Mungu kwa sababu hawakuwa na habari kwamba tunaenda tulikuta sherehe inaendelea katikati Polisi kajiando wa wanusuru watoto watatu waliokuwa kikaribia kukeketwa Shule ya upili ya Isiolo yafungwa kufuatia madombano ya dini baina ya wanafunzi na mafuriko yashuhudiwa katika sehemu kadhaa leo kulingana na idara ya hali ya anga na sana sana kwa kuendelea kuwa nasi tunaendelea kukuarifu katika taarifa zetu za leo mashinani tukiwa tunaangazia masuala mbalimbali ambayo yametokea leo uh, moja wapo ikiwa inahusiana na uh, kamati ya bunge inayosimamia fedha za umma ambayo imeweza kufanya kikao hii leo uh, ambapo muda mfupi uliopita wameweza kumhoji uh, katibu katika wizara ya utumishi wa umma vijana na masuala ya jinsia Julius Muya ambaye ameweza kufika mbele ya kamati hiyo inayoongozwa na mbunge wa Unguja Opio Wandai. Hebu tuweze kusikiza yaliyojiri. PS. I do want to add my voice to yours. That indeed this committee is very disappointed. Especially by the letter that we received just this morning from the relevant department that should be giving us answers on the questions we have in relation to uh, issues that happened like one or two years ago. Ed Chair, I want to see as a member of this committee and also as a youth, because I believe most of the matters that are in the public domain could scare some of the witnesses that we have called. I want to state very clearly that this committee has a mandate, and beyond this mandate that we have to interrogate how public resources are used, I also want to say that there is nowhere they'll hide. We have summoned them on a Friday. There is nowhere to hide. And there is no way that they are going to run away from the questions we have, and especially the public have, in regards to the issues raised by the Auditor General. And also in relation to the issue that is out there in the public domain, insofar as NYS is concerned. I also want to confirm as a youth, that even if they run from this committee or any other jurisdiction, they can't run away from the youth of Kenya. So I, I, I want the PS uh, to uh, do his part insofar as uh, giving us answers on the, on the specific issues that are raised here. But I also want Kenyans to know and the youth to know that you do everything within our mandate as PAC and as the young people of this country so that we put to book everyone who has taken any coin that belongs to the youth of this country. Fair enough, Honorable Bunyoro. Sure. Honorable Kingi. Uh, I think, uh, Chair, your question is very clear and direct concerning which areas the PS can go for. Uh, it says that 90% of uh, the matter fall in another state department. But we, we, we had expected that he may be to, to give response, written response on the, the matters only the matters that fall within uh, that department. For the matters that fall in another department, that for youth and pu public service, he can leave them out. But for today, we, expect, we had expected him to come here with a response on the matters that fall within the department of planning. Okay. Uh, he was in the process of explaining something. Yes. And uh, as we do the explanation, just let us know uh, if you have got copies of the correspondence that you had with the State Department of Public Service and Youth specifically. Uh, uh, thank you, Chairman. Uh, with respect to, uh, I think, the last point that uh, you've asked about correspondence, uh, we have been uh, talking on phone, so I don't have... On phone? Yeah. I don't have something in return. Is that how state business is transacted? Uh, <laughs> Honorable Chairman, they, they, they have responsibility to respond to the issues that were raised. And the Auditor General's um, report that was given to us, they have a copy uh, of that Auditor General's report. And so we've been following them up so that they can do their, their part in, 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 in enabling us to be able to compile uh, all the responses together. And so I seek your indulgence, Chair. Uh, that um, you give us up to Friday and we'll be able to do 
uh, a substantive piece uh, as um, you know we combine with the others and have a combined and uh, you know complete uh, report that has got all the responses that way then we'll be able to do justice uh, Na mkikao hicho kimechukua pumziko kwa muda ambao bado tunajaribu kujua kama ni kwa muda gani uh, kumbuka pia katibu katika wizara hiyo ambaye ni Lilian Omolo ambaye amejiuzulu pamoja na uh, mkurugenzi Richard Ndubai alikuwa anafaa Omolo ndio alikuwa anafaa kufika mbele ya kamati hiyo ya bunge lakini hadi sasa hajaweza kufika bado tuna uh, ngoja kupata maelezo ya sababu ambazo zimesababisha asiweze kufika katika kikao hicho lakini tukisadia na swala hilo la sakata ya NYS uh, seneta wa kaunti ya Makueni Mutula Kilonzo Junior ame, uh, ametoa wito wa kuvunjwa kwa tume ya huduma uh, kwa vijana nchini NYS Mutula amesema kwamba uh, tume hiyo imehusika pakubwa katika kufuja fedha za umma haswa sakata za mabilioni ya pesa NYS should be disbanded NYS should be run through the Ministry of Devolution in conjunction with the Ministry of Youth because it has failed this country so many times. We have given it a huge budget since 2013. NYS has money for functions of counties. It is not performing those functions. It has been given dams, sanitation, sewerage, and other things. The cities, the major cities of this country, Mombasa, Nairobi, are the dirtiest. Yet, we are still giving NYS money. This is time to disband NYS and its management. It's not enough for them to be suspended. Somebody should go to court. Naam unakumbuka kuwa sakata hiyo ya NYS inahusu uh, kupotea kwa bilioni eh, takriban bilioni tisa katika huduma uh, ya kitaifa kwa vijana NYS lakini uh, ile taarifa ambayo tunapata ni kuwa uh, katibu katika wizara hiyo ya utumishi wa umma vijana na masuala ya jinsia Lilian Omolo hakuweza kufika mbele uh, ya kamati hiyo ya bunge kuhusu fedha za umma uh, badala yake Katibu katika kitengo cha mipango Julius Muya alifika mbele ya kamati hiyo lakini hakuweza kujibu maswali uh, ambayo uh, kamati hiyo ya bunge ilikuwa imemuuliza kamati hiyo pia uh, ilikuwa uh, inamtaka mkurugenzi Richard Ndumbai kuweza kufika mbele yake na uh, pamoja na waziri Profesa Margaret Kobia uh, na na waziri ambaye sasa ni wa afya uh, sisi likarioki kuweza kufika mbele yake kabla ya Ijumaa Tukiachana na hayo serikali ya Somalia pamoja na umoja wa mataifa imetoa wito wa msaada wa dola milioni 80 kuwasaidia wananchi wa Somalia walioathirika na mafuriko yaliyokumba maeneo hayo kufuatia mvua kubwa inayonyesha mvua hiyo inaonekana kama mvua kubwa zaidi kuwahi kunyesha huko Somalia katika muda wa miaka 30 2018 appears to be as challenging as 2017 however for different reasons this time Unlike in 2017, when funding came in very early in the year to support the famine prevention, less than $370 million has been recorded to date in 2018. That's about half what we had last year. This is a fraction of what we require to address the existing caseload prior to the onset of the flooding, so not even taking into account the additional needs of the flooding. As climate change risks invariably increase, more resources are needed to address the root causes of fragility, chronic poverty, and low human development that are affecting the bulk of the population. Longer-term investment is needed to build resilience to climatic shocks, break the, break the cycle of recurrent crisis that causes so much suffering, and undermines the state-building process. Tackling climate change is uh, working on resilience, long-term programs, especially uh, river areas, and, and in short term period trying to respond to the effects of climate change. And nowadays people talk about climate change refugees. And truly what we are experiencing is uh, displaced people 
uh, displace it because of climate change. Na moja kumoja tuweleke huko Mombasa ambapo kuna kongamano linaloendelea uh, linalo waleta pamoja ma seneta pamoja na uh, wawakilishi wodi kutoka county zote 47. Hebu tuweleke huko tuweze kusikiza na ujiri. mtunaomba kwa tatizo hapo la mawasiliano lakini Francis Mtalake anafuatilia taarifa hiyo kuhusu mkutano unaoleta pamoja wa wakilishi wodi kutoka kaunti zote 47 pamoja na maseneta muda mfupi uliopita kulikuwa na kikao uh, cha baadhi ya wawakilishi ambapo walikuwa wanazungumzia swala la wanawake haswa ile sheria ambayo inatarajiwa uh, kuhusiana na tuluthi mbili uh, ya jinsia uh, uh, pamoja na zile hatua ambazo zimepigwa hadi kufikia sasa jinsi ambazo uh, wanaweza uh, uh, kuimarisha uh, kuhakikisha kuwa uh, sheria hiyo inaweza kupitishwa na kutekelezwa ipasavyo ili kuhakikisha kuwa uh, hakuna jinsia inayopita ile asilimia uh, hakuna jinsia inayopitisha uh, tuluthi mbili katika nafasi zozote za uongozi lakini kabla kuelekea huko uh, tukiwa tunajaribu kuwasiliana na walio Mombasa idadi ya wafanyikazi wa kiwanda cha Mumias uh, naam hebu tupate taarifa hiyo tena kuanzia mwanzo Naam hebu tupate taarifa hiyo kutoka Mumias ambapo idadi ya wafanyikazi wa kiwanda cha Mumias uh, itapunguzwa sasa baada ya kiwanda hicho kushindwa kuendelea na shughuli za kusagamiwa kutokana na deni kubwa kwa wafanyikazi na wakulima kwa muda mrefu wakulima wamekuwa kililia kulipo malimbikizi yao huku wengine wakigura ukulima wa miwa na kuanza kilimo mbadala imeangua kwa sababu ya management mbaya juzi nimechukua MD wa hapa Aseka na chairman niliwasamon kwa ofisi yangu nikawapeleka kwa deputy president Nika wa tukasikizana ya kwamba kitu inaumiza Mumias Sugar number 1 ni wage bill. Sasa tukakubaliana. Lazima mtaenda mpunguze hao wafanyakazi wanakula mishahara za za mamilioni kutoka kwa 1400 mufikishe 700. And then tutafute another 1 billion Kenya shillings tupatie hao wafanyakazi wenye umeambiwa waende nyumbani wapewe pesa yao wakwenda nyumbani. Tutafute another 1 billion Kenya shillings wakulima wanadai hapa over 600 million wapewa pesa yao waendelee ukuzaji wa miwa Na moja kwa moja turudi huko Mombasa ambapo kikao kinachoendelea hivi sasa uh, katika mkutano ambao unaoleta pamoja wawakilishi wodi pamoja na maseneta kutoka kaunti zote 47 hebu tusikize As the Senate rather we are committed to supporting and engaging in any such forums that provide opportunity for learning and experience sharing Finally, I trust that we will continue deliberating and finding ways of strengthening caucuses and any, for any other such institutional frameworks that provide support to women legislators. As the Senate Speaker, I am open to any suggestions on how the Senate can best support women legislators. Together with other leaders, I am committed to supporting our women legislators in any institutions that promotes their welfare. We hope to continue enjoying good rapport and partnership with institutions, national agencies, and non-governmental organizations that are focused on promoting women inclusion agenda in politics. To the women legislators, in their individual capacity, I wish to say the following. As women elected and or nominated to office, Kenyans, expect to see increase in policy making that emphasizes on the priorities of families, women, and ethnic minorities. As women, you must be actively engaged in governance to represent the concerns of women and other marginalized groups, and to suggest policy alternatives. At the national level, we have seen tremendous women committed in committees and in other leadership roles. I urge the county assemblies too to nurture the same culture 
exhibited at the national level to promote proper and meaningful participation of women legislators. In future, we hope the conversation can shift from women to gender inclusivity, taking into account the boy child as well, which will be realized owing to your legacy as per the work and commitment of today. This is your session, honorable ladies, uh, legislators. I encourage all of you to celebrate it. Share, deliberate on the issues of execute positive, and that is uh, your service to Kenyans, um, execute the positive, and that is your service to Kenyans and to your creator. My message today is be the champions of gender mainstreaming in parliament and in the county assemblies. The needs of both men Tunaomba radhi tena mtazamaji naonekana tutangoja kwanza mtalaki ya malizani hapo ili aweze kutupatia maelezo kamili kuhusiana na yanayoendelea lakini kwa sasa hebu turejee hapa jijini Nairobi ambapo usimamizi wa mkahawa wa Olive katikati mwa jiji la Nairobi umejitenga na kisa cha mwanamke mmoja kudai kukatazwa kunyonyesha kwa kutoa kanda ya video ambayo wanasema ina ushahidi wa yaliyotokea katika mkahawa huo na mmoja kwa mmoja tunaungana na mwanahabari wetu Caroline B ambaye yuko katika studio zetu katikati mwa jiji la Nairobi. Uh, B hujambo asante sana kwa kuungana nasi. Ulikuwa katika kikao hicho ambapo wasimamizi wa mkahawa huo wa Olive wamejitenga na kisa hicho cha mwanamke kudai kukatazwa kunyonyesha. Hebu tueleze hiyo kanda ya video inaonyesha nini haswa? ndio mashirima hujambo na unapoangalia ile kanda ambayo imeweza kutolewa ni kuwa yule mwanamke ambaye alielekea pale katika mitandao ya kijamii na kutoa hadithi yake ya ni nini haswa kilitokea siku hiyo amevalia nguo za samawati na alikuwa na mwanawe hapo uh, kilichotokea kulingana na ile CCTV footage ambayo tumeweza kuangalia na pia kulingana na usimamizi wa hoteli hiyo ni kuwa mwanamke huyu aliingia katika hoteli kisha akaagiza uh, chakula chake uh, kisha baadaye akala baada ya hapo basi akamnyonyesha mwanawe alafu pia tunamuona mmoja wa wasaidizi ama wafanyikazi katika hoteli hiyo wakakuja kumhudumia uh, na tunaelezwa kuwa na wale wasimamizi wa hoteli kuwa wakati wakati huo yule mfanyikazi alikuja kumhudumia alikuwa anamuuliza kama yuko katika hali sawa uh, kumnyonyesha yule mwanawe manake kila mtu alikuwa anamwangalia uh, kamueleza kuwa labda kidogo anaweza tu kujifunika uh, manake machi yote alikuwa yameelekezwa ya kwake na pia wateja wengine katika hoteli hiyo kisha baada ya hapo akamaliza akalipa ile chakula chake kisha akaondoka lakini kulingana na mwanamke huyu jinsi ambavyo alitoa kisa chake katika mitandao ya kijamii ni kuwa alipoingia pale chakula chake kilichukua dakika 30 kabla kufika kwake halafu baada ya hapo ni kuwa akamnyonyesha mwanawe ndiposa wale wa hudumu katika hoteli hiyo wakasema kuwa hatukubali kunyonyesha uh, mtoto katika sehemu hii labda tu uende katika uh, msalani niposa unaweza kufanya kitendo hicho kwa hivyo kutokana na uh, visa vile mbili ambavyo tumeweza kuona kisa cha mwanamke katika mitandao ya kijamii na pia katika usimamizi wa hoteli na ile kanda ya video ambayo tumeweza kuona siku ya leo ni kuwa tunaona kuwa wanakanganyika kidogo maana kila mtu ana kisa chake uh, cha kilichotokea haswa siku hiyo usimamizi wa hoteli wanasema kuwa ilichukua mwanamke huyo dakika tu nne kabla ya kupata chakula chake lakini kulingana na mwanamke huyu ambaye alitoa uh, kisa chake katika mitandao ya kijamii ni kuwa ilimchukua dakika 30 kuweza kupata uh, ile agizo yake uh, ndiposa naweza sema kuwa uh, kesi zote mbili ambazo zimeweza kutolewa kidogo ni tofauti lakini hatuwezi jua kama ni ukweli ama si ukweli lakini pia kitu kingine ni kuwa 
uh, ile sauti katika kanda, kanda hiyo ya video ambayo imetolewa ni kwa haina sauti kabisa. Kwa hivyo hatuwezi kujua ni nini haswa walikuwa nazungumzia siku hiyo na ni nini kilitendeka. Pia hatuwezi kujua kama ni huyo mwanamke uh, ambaye alifika katika hoteli hiyo na kusema kuwa um, na kutoa kisa chake. Haiwezi julikana kama ni huyo beti ambaye alienda mitandaoni na kutoa kisa chake. Kwa hivyo hiyo ndio hali ambayo tulionayo a uh, wakati huu kosa lolote na umejaribu kuzungumza na yule mwanamke na pia kutoa um, apology yao katika mtandao um, wa kijamii lakini bado hawajapata hawa lolote yule mwanamke hajajitokeza kuja kwa usimamizi wa hoteli hii na kutoa kisa chake na pia labda uh, kuomba msahama, msamaha kutoka usimamizi wa hoteli hiyo na hiyo ndio hali ambayo tulionayo siku hii ya leo mashirima Caroline kama mkahawa au usimamizi wa mkahawa huo unajitenga na kisa hicho mbona basi wanaomba radhi Wanasema kuwa kila mwanamke ama mama yeyote ambaye ana mtoto ana, ana, ana ile haki ya kuweza kunyonyesha mtoto katika sehemu yoyote na wanashikilia kuwa Uh, sababu ya wao kutoa ile Apollo jama msamaha ambayo walifanya hivyo wiki moja iliyopita jinsi ambavyo tuliona ni kuwa hawakuwa wanataka um, naweza sema kwa lugha ya Kiingereza they did not want a lot of confusion uh, manake wakati huo kulikuwa na maandamano ambayo yalitokea na kila pahali kila mtu alikuwa anazungumzia swala hilo hata waandishi wa habari wa kimataifa walikuwa wamezungumzia swala hilo kwa hivyo hawakuwa wanataka kusababisha ile confusion kuendeleza kusababisha uh, Uh, ile situation ndio maana wakajitokeza siku ya leo na wakasema kuwa hii ndio hali ambayo tunajipata ama tulikuwa nayo wakati huo mashirima na, na juhudi zao za kumpata mwanamke huyo zimefikia wapi kwa sasa wanasema kuwa wamejaribu kumpata katika mitandao ya kijamii manake hawana nambari ya simu na hawana jinsi ambavyo wanaweza kumfikia ila tu katika mitandao ya jamii pale ambapo aliweza kutoa ile taarifa yake lakini wanasema kuwa mwanamke huyo bado hajazungumza nao hajakuja pale katika mkaha huo ambapo tangu tukio hilo lifanyike kwa hivyo bado wanashikilia kuwa wanatarajia yule mwanamke atajitokeza aje kwao alafu asimulie uh, kisa chake lakini kwa sasa hivi naweza sema kuwa wamejaribu kuzungumza naye katika mitandao ya kijamii hapo kutoka katika timu ya jiji la Nairobi akiwa anatueleza uh, kuhusu kauli ya usimamizi wa mkahawa wa Olive kuhusiana na uh, kisa cha wiki jana ambapo mwanamke anayefahamika kama Betty Kim uh, aliyedai kuwa alikatazwa kunyonyesha ndani uh, ya mkahawa huo akiwa anasema bado anajaribu kumtafuta mwanamke huyo ili kuweza kuomba radhi uh, lakini wamejitenga na kisa hicho pamoja na kuhakikisha kuwa yule ambaye alikuwa anamhudumia wakati kati alipokuwa katika uh, mkahawa huo ametumwa katika likizo ya lazima huku uchunguzi ukiendelea kwa sasa napumzika kidogo nitarejea na mengi zaidi hivi punde usiondoke